Hello, today I want to talk about what's happening with our Spire remasters. We're getting Spire remasters, which is awesome. Reignited Trilogy, can't wait. Toys for Bob, look, they're doing a brilliant job. The graphics look amazing. Copeland is back to do the music. I mean, that music was amazing. And to have the composer back again um, is just unreal. To have such a well-known musician as well, who's gone into making music for games and among other things, it's just brilliant to have him back. Uh, there are contentious issues that I want to address them, namely being that the physical game comes with one game on the disc. I mean one. There are three games. It's a trilogy. Trilogy three. One. Two and three require downloading. Are you kidding me? What if you've got, say, absolutely dreadful internet? The slowest of the slow. You're in a place where the internet's super slow. Uh, so downloading anything more than a couple of meg is going to take ages. Even more times if you don't have it in it. And you really, 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 really want to play Spiral. You mean you only get to play Spiral 1. Spiral 1 is a really short game. Few worlds, some dragons to find. There's, I think each world has like four levels. So you're not talking about that many levels. Maybe even three. It's just, it's unthinkable. We need internet. Why is the physical version existing? What are they doing? Or don't we think you think of a two and three won't be ready in time for down for download? It won't be ready for anything. And we don't want to make you purchase three separate discs. I don't know what's going on. It seems to be, from what I've gathered, Activision are involved. People make fun of EA. People make fun of Ubisoft for being paywall covering and microtransactions and dumbass decisions having to backtrack, but Activision seem to be just as bad. Somehow they got the Crash trilogy and that came on one disc. What gives with Spyro? I like Spyro more than Crash and it may be a strange thing to say. Some people might be disagree with me on this. Comments below please if you do. Or are you a Spyro fan more than Crash? Either way, these games were people's childhoods. They have fond memories. And some people just prefer to have a physical game. I myself buy physical games. I trade in a whole load of games that I don't play anymore. I have a gift card loaded up with enough cash to buy the game. I was looking forward to just going to the store day one, giving over my gift card, getting that game home, plonking it in the PlayStation and going. But what's the point? I have to then download two and three. You can't lend that to a friend, can you? They have to then download the other two games. They can't just go. I mean, I've wanted to buy it, a hard drive for space because I'm running out of place on my PlayStation, which is fine. But I may be put off buying the digital game in the past, but not now. Because what's the point in owning the physical one? What are they doing? The developers like they're making an amazing job. They've got they've been talking to the the original guys that made the game. They've got the original composer back. The the fan service is going through the frigging roof with this game. 
But Activision seem hell bent on this really weird idea of you having a physical game which leads to digital downloads. What is this? Can we not just say, you know, wait a bit longer for the games to be finished and polished and good? Um, and just... Uh, they look great. I don't like the look of Crash, the, the way it's been done. I don't... Vicarious Visions, I think it was. I don't quite like the look of Crash. It wasn't great. Um, what they did with him. Okay, it's hard maybe to get a bandicoot looking sensible but he's a video game character okay but Spire of the Dragon looks great these games are probably a lot more open than Crash. Crash is a bit linear um, these are more open worlds and from what I've heard the development time was about the same for crash as it is for Spyro. Um, I hope the two and three don't suffer because I really like two. I like three. They were really good fun, some really inventive levels because they went from having on one quite basic levels to having fun and having different characters, having skateboarding, having hunter, uh, chasing egg thieves, having that flame breath that you got for a limited time for Blasting things, um, kind of for hitting certain uh, treasure that was on balloons, or for smashing open certain types of boxes. The supercharge, the spoof of Hansel and Gretel. Who would have thought you would have taken? I think they're called Hansel and Greta. Who would have thought you would have taken spoofs of Hansel and Gretel and shoved them into a game with a dragon that speaks, who is friends with a cheetah and has to do dealings with a giant fat bear that has a money bag? Um, but that's it's, they spawn my favourite level, that um, sort of level with ninjas. But the ninjas jump out of a box and you've got to go and get to the end and there's a big rocket ship. That's such a great level. I mean, ninjas jumping out of boxes doesn't really make any sense, but it's great fun. I love that level. Um, some of the others, the ones with the idols and the guys chanting and it makes the platforms go up and down. and The cat hawking. I mean, there's so many fond memories of this game. I could do a memory card episode, I might do one. And try and compare in my mind what the old one was like to the new one, I don't know. But, I just don't understand what's going on. I might just buy the digital version. Because what's the point in having the physical one? The only upside sometimes is that it can be slightly cheaper to buy the disc than it is to buy on the PlayStation Store because you you, you might have a discount somewhere slightly in say uh, a shop um, in the city centre supermarkets day one or even week one sometimes do a deal where the game is slashed they take off eight or nine quid um, which is great because you can go in instead of having to pay forty five pounds you're paying paying thirty seven pounds thirty eight pounds. And it's just kind of like, I quite like that. But it means that I might have to go and pay nearly 50 quid or how much it's going to cost um, on my digital store because of the point of having the physical game. I just, this is mind blowing. Can we not have Activision touch any more of these, please? Can we just have somebody else? Konami, maybe. I've, surely Konami could do a job? 
or Bandai, Konami, whatever they're called nowadays. Um, Capcom even. I mean, Activision have really are they the are they the lesser of the evil companies that people don't quite like? People have pooped on Ubisoft for ha for selling out games that are buggy and glitchy, i.e. Assassin's Creed. Um, and uh, EA for their overuse of loot boxes um, to the point where it's basically crippling games and making them pay to win. Thankfully EA haven't touched this because there are probably frigging loot boxes in it. And Spyro with loot boxes doesn't make any sense. There's already games in ship in this uh, games we ship by the wrong word, but there's already transactions in this where you've got to pay money back your gems. Um, I just don't get it. Because there surely there must be a publishing studio out there that people could turn to that don't make really odd, awful decisions. I've ranted long enough. If you agree with me, um, please tell me in the uh, in the description in the in the comments. Let me know what you think. Should Activision have been allowed anywhere near this, or are the better choice than Ubisoft, EA, um, would Konami um, be a bad idea? Would Capcom be a bad idea? Um, let me know what you think. Who should have handled this? Um, will we get to see a version with all three on the disc? Do you want all three on the disc? There are so many things you could ask. So many questions I have. Um, if you have your own questions, you can post them in the descriptions, uh, comments, keep saying description, brain isn't working, in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I can maybe do a separate video trying to answer these questions. Some people have tried, but I just don't understand it. This is becoming a massive rant. I really just don't understand what they're doing. Um, they don't even understand what they're doing, I don't think. You've basically given this massive piece of nostalgia, this massive chunk of nostalgia to people who love this character. Um, and at the same time, you've punched them in the face. You've basically given them a big piece of chocolate, but the chocolate is on a spring, so that when you try and take the chocolate, it goes boing and flies out of your hands again. Just, I don't know what else to describe it. It's like, I don't know, being given a gas bill and then punched in the face. <laughs> what? I don't know how else to describe it. It's mental. It's nuts. Um, I could go on for an hour ranting about this, but I'm going to stop. Like I said, if you have any strong feelings like I do about this, let me know in the comments. And let's start something. Anybody else who makes videos, your comments are welcome. Let's see if we can make a push to get a proper physical release of this game. Don't let Toys for Bob's amazing work go to waste because Activision can't publish anything to save themselves. Okay? That's just what I think. I'm not making any friends with Activision, but Hey ho, that's my views. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And I will go and try and calm down.